Marilyn Buffalo first heard the name Henry Norwest when she was a little girl. As she listened to her grandmother recount stories about her own father. One of the things that she told me was that last thing she remembers is a very handsome man came to bid her goodbye at the residential school, and that was her dad. Back then, Henry Norwest went as Henry Louis, a Métis father of three. On his enlistment papers, he described himself as a cowpuncher by trade, or a ranch hand. Yet his initial stint in the military didn't last long. A few months after he signed up, Henry Louis was discharged for what back then was referred to as drunkenness. But military historians say he wasn't deterred. He went south, waited a while, changed his name, and signed up again, this time with the 50th Battalion. And it was with that unit that Henry Norwest shone as a sniper. This is the Mark II Ross rifle. His rifle is on display at this military museum in Calgary. He had the hunting skills to be able to move with great stealth and to be able to use camouflage and the natural foliage around him to hide. Normally, snipers worked with an observer, but Norwest was frequently on his own, creeping through no man's land. A fellow soldier said he went about his work with passionate dedication and showed complete detachment from everything while he was in the line. Off the battlefield, it was a different story. He was a popular guy with the girls, and then he would dance all night and then duck out on the girls at the end of the night. So that's how he earned his name, Ducky. Norwest was awarded a military medal for his sniping at Vimy Ridge in 1917, which records said saved a great number of men's lives. He went off to fight in other battles throughout France, but just three months before the war ended, Norwest was shot and killed. Inscribed on his grave marker at the time, 115 for his confirmed number of hits. Today, Norwest's legacy is honoured at the cemetery in Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, and is part of an exhibit in Edmonton. Yet his story is still relatively unknown. This is the part of the history, our contribution to the world, the British Empire, a hundred years ago. And it has to be honoured. Buffalo hopes more Canadians get a chance to learn about her great-grandfather and his contribution as a celebrated Métis marksman. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.